So, it's definitely been some time since I've graduated from medicine. After studying in Charles University's first faculty of medicine, I finished my last exam around September and I had my graduation in November. And yeah, it's definitely been some time since I've, I guess, passed out of being a medical student. And with my medical degree right now, looking back on those days, I can definitely see why a lot of students would consider Charles University as a preferable option to do their six years of medicine in. But back when I decided to study medicine there, I didn't know about a lot of these things. So hopefully this video is helpful enough to help you guys figure out if Charles University is the right option to study medicine. And if that sounds good, then let's jump right to it. The greatest advantage that you have with studying in Charles University's first faculty of medicine is the fact that you have access to Europe. So this depends on, again, what your end goal is. So if your plan is to potentially end up working in Europe, then this is a good entry point, regardless of whether if Czech Republic is your final destination or if you want to pursue your higher education elsewhere. Because at least studying in Charles University, you get to know that, okay, um, if initially you want to think about going to the UK, which was the case for me, and realizing, okay, these are the requirements, then you could try fulfilling them and go to the UK. Or if, for example, from UK, you want to think about going elsewhere, like for example, Germany in my case, then the only drawback would be the fact that you would need to learn the language. So it's always important to understand why exactly is it that you want to choose the medical faculty you are going into. And in this case, if having access to Europe is a main priority for you, then it's definitely not a bad idea to study in first faculty of medicine, especially if you want to have a low barrier of entry with respect to language, because studying medicine requires you to know a language up to a B2 or a C1 level at least if going to Germany is an option for you. Whereas if you're thinking of staying back in Czech Republic, if you have come to like the place, as well as if you like how relaxed the medical system is, working as a doctor, well, at least compared to uh, how it would be like in the UK or US. But yeah, the main point is the fact that if you want to continue working in Europe and you want a place with a low barrier of entry with respect to language, as well as limited entrance examinations, then learning Czech usually is not a bad idea because you're anyways exposed to the language during your medical school years. Heck, you need to get to a level between A1 and A2 for your third year because you have your, have your final medical Czech exam. So for that, you definitely need to brush up on your Czech skills. And if you realize, oh, this is a language that you can pick up quite even if not easily, it's something that makes sense to you or if it's something that you can learn while managing your medical obligations, then why not? Learning a language opens up a lot more doors than just blindly following the fact that you want to go to the UK, US or Australia simply because they speak English there. Even in Europe, there's always the issue with a language barrier. And as I've mentioned earlier, the language requirements being quite high if you want to pursue it in a German speaking country. So in comparison, I would say at least Czech Republic is a lot more lenient because you just require an A2 level for your initial medical Czech test. Of course, when you're working there, it's always good to aim for a higher level, at least a B1 level, if you wanna integrate quite well into the medical system, because if you're working with patients as well as their families, and if you have to communicate with other doctors and your fellow medical students, then it's always better to at least know the language well enough to ensure that you have a basic understanding between all the parties involved. Otherwise, communication problems can be quite nasty. And since you already have enough experience, once you've spent six years in Czech Republic, you are definitely exposed enough to how the work life would be as well as what would be required of you initially starting out as a junior doctor, for example. You can definitely assess 
if Czech Republic is somewhere that you want to stick around, stay back and actually continue your medical journey at because quite <laughs> it can be quite traumatizing staying there for six years and assuming, oh God, this is where you're going to be stuck at for quite a lot of time. But you have a window of opportunity if you study medicine here and think of continuing for another five to six years to complete your specialization. Of course, for a lot of people, if language learning is not an appealing concept, then there's no point staying back. And there are also people who, despite finding Czech to be a challenging language to learn, you can always think of learning German as well alongside your medical studies. Of course, it's dependent on what kind of a student you are as well. If you can manage multiple um, parallel activities alongside your main primary goal of passing out of medicine. But if you can, then once at least you go into third year or if managing it with uh, Czech, because you wouldn't have to learn Czech past your third year of education, then you can think of pursuing German in the meantime, because I would say if you finish your exams quite early, then you have most of the summer open or available to you. You have almost two to three months to learn a language if that is your goal. I do think it's quite possible to learn German up to at least an A2 or between an A2 and a B1 level by the time you graduate. And then you can apply for a job seeking visa, which lasts anywhere between nine months to a whole year. And accordingly, you know, stay back, learn the language, make use of the fact that you have access to Europe to finish up uh, your language test, as well as your medical registration required to work in Germany, if that is your goal. So yes, because of these factors, I would definitely think that coming to Charles University is a great opportunity to open doors to Europe as well as other parts of the world if that's something that's bothering you or if that's a question that's on your mind when thinking of, of choosing to come to Czech Republic to pursue your medical education.